Hello everybody, welcome back to Not Enough Projects. Today we're gonna to be doing some more daily driver maintenance. We're gonna be replacing the front wheel speed sensor on this 2005 W203 platform Mercedes. If you're getting an ABS light or traction control warning on the center information display, then this is more than likely your issue. So let's get to it. All right, this should be a pretty easy job. You're just gonna need basic hand tools. So let's start by popping the wheel off. So diagnosis of this kind of fault is not the easiest thing because really to determine the exact location of the field sensor, you need a pro scan tool that can access the ABS codes. I know it's on one of the fronts because I think I actually broke the sensor when I redid the whole front suspension on this thing. So we're gonna start on this side and see if we can fix the light. You can see we went ahead and turned the wheel to the stop all the way to the right, just so it's easy to access the sensor. Here's the wheel speed sensor. It's held in with a single 10 millimeter bolt that we're gonna access with a wrench. And you gotta kinda wrangle the sensor out. Here it is. Next. Wire comes all the way back to this far wire loom. You just unclip it out of there. Alright, once you have the wire fully unhooked from all the wire looms, you need to unhook the connector that goes in all the way up here behind the coil. I found the easiest way is to pop the spring that retains it out. It actually goes around the connector up here. But what I did is I pushed down, got a pick behind this side, pulled it out, and just took the whole thing out. This can be in there pretty good, so you just need to yank it a little bit. I got the pick right behind it and pulled, and it came right out. So this connector is actually two connectors in one. This right side connector is the pad wear indicator. So if your brake pads go low, it turns on the brake pad light inside the car. This left connector is what we're after. So we're gonna need to split this. There's these little tabs that hold them together. Just like that. Here's our old sensor. And let's get our new one out of the package. I got this off Rock Auto for just a couple bucks. So I'm gonna start by clipping these back together. Push straight back in. Then we're gonna put the retaining clip back in so it doesn't come out. Now we just need to route the cable. All right, you don't need to get this crazy tight. Just get it nice and snug. It's just holding in the plastic tab. Okay, and with that, we have our new sensor in. Okay, we're gonna remove the positive terminal off of the battery so we can get the codes cleared. On these W203s, it's under the cabin air filter. Actually, I'm removing the negative terminal on this spoke earlier. All right, I'm just gonna press the brake pedal to discharge everything. Should be good. Let's get the battery hooked back up. All right, so you can see we were still getting an ESP unavailable message after replacing the wheel speed sensor. So you do need to take it out onto the road and just let it recalibrate itself. So we're just driving a short distance to the gas station and then we'll turn it off, turn it back on and see if the light goes away. Oh, look, light went ahead and turned off. You can see the ABS light is no longer on. We're gonna turn the car off here in just a second because we're gonna fill it up and we'll see if the ESP message comes back on. All right, so now we're gonna start up the car and see if it gives us any messages. Just that we have exceeded our service, which is not true, I just haven't reset it, but the ESP not available message is gone and the ABS light is off, so I think we can call it fixed. All right, so that wraps it up. That's how you do a front wheel speed sensor on a W203 platform Mercedes. We got some more daily driver maintenance coming out on this thing. We're gonna be doing the valve cover gasket. So check that out if you enjoyed this. If you're looking for something more project car related, we've also got the 72 Nova project you should go check out. Okay. If you guys liked what you see, subscribe, give a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.